Okay, so chapter one here. Um, we have 3ds Max opened up um, in here, and again, this is kind of workflow is going to be similar throughout um, all applications. Um, so I'm going to take you through this. This is a little animation that I did. Um, this tentacle. Let's go ahead and play it a little bit. Scrub it back and forth. So I have this tentacle rising up and flopping around all crazy. And so it's kind of a, a, a cool. Um, this is a really good um, animation sort of thing that has an emerge has something coming out of the surface and you know flopping around a lot. So this will um, help us test um, the sub steps and all this good stuff, and we'll get into all that and that stuff later. Um, but so we want to grab this geo here and bring it into real flow right now. So in Max, at least, um, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, here at Blur, we actually uh, implemented Olympic. Um, I don't think the new version of Max has Olympic in it. I'm not 100% sure on that, but here we have, we're running 2012 and we, uh, we implemented our own version here. So, but I won't be using this um, just to show you. Um, I'll, I'll use the SD version uh, method of getting this geo out here. And uh, so that's, I'm gonna do that real quick here. Um, we can come up here and go to export. And so I do export selected, come down and it should be real flow SD file here. And so we'll go ahead and name this Tentacle. And go ahead and find where our, uh, our project's gonna be at real quickly here. And we'll go ahead and make a new folder for this. Or actually, I'll just save it here. It's a temp for now. And I'll come grab this in a second. So save it out. And this will come up. Um, we just want selected objects, uh, export non renderable objects. This is pretty much default stuff here, but we want to make sure this is this is the big one here, uh, this active time segment. We want to make sure that we get the whole time segment in here. And also, um, if you put this deformation in this auto detect, it doesn't always work. So I always, if I know if there's deformation going on, like in this tentacle, I'll just always select yes, no matter what. Um, and you can use active camera, it'll export the camera for you if you want. We won't do this, or I guess we have to. Um, and this is where it's going. So let's go ahead and export out. It shouldn't take very long. As you can see here, it's running up. We'll just uh, go ahead and pause this while this does this. Okay. It's all done here. Um, one thing I did kind of didn't uh, talk about, but I'm going to really quickly here is well scale. Um, right now, um, this tentacle is um, it's pretty 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 big, I, I believe. Um, but let's go ahead and just see how big it is. Um, let's go up to customize at least the max unit setup here. We want to make sure they're working in meters uh, when we do stuff in RealFlow. If you don't work in meters, it's okay, um, but I'll show you here in a second. Uh, <laughs> RealFlow kind of blows everything up from max, um, so I think it's really big. So come to here, let's make sure this is meters. Um, so if we were, just, I think we just put a box or something here. And so this is 20, yeah, so it's really big. This is 20 meters high right now, so. Or 13 meters high. Oops, as we come up, so it's like 100, yeah, 170 meters or so tall. Um, so it's rather rather large. So, but anyways, what I'm getting at is basically, um, if you want something to look big uh, like that, you have to make it big in 3D uh, for the motion and stuff to work right in the simulation. We'll we'll get in that here now. So let's go ahead and open up RealFlow. Uh, let me scale this down real quick move this over okay so here we go um and again um this isn't going to be an in-depth um thing inside real flow i'm not going to go over every setting um in real flow i will be i'll be going over every, every setting that i use uh, to make this scene file um but we w it's not necessarily um like a an intro to real flow or anything like that but you should be able to follow on pretty pretty easily real flow is not very hard to uh, to pick up so that's just a little little forward there about that <laughs> um so let's go ahead and just make a new file here we'll call this tentacle and let's go ahead and create a project this is kind of where my project lives right now create a project. 
And so we have a new project here. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in um, our geo here. And uh, just uh, also um, some info here, uh, this, these little squares here are one meter. So, and you'll see how big this tentacle actually is. Let's go ahead and um, actually just control I, we'll bring up an import. And so let's go back over here to our Rufal 13 temp. Let's just, I'm gonna grab this, I'm just gonna copy, come back to tentacle. And so Rufal makes these, um, these directories for you from project basis. So um, well, let's go ahead and put this guy here, paste. A second and go ahead and just go open. There we go. Right. So zoom out here and see see how massive this thing is. Um, and this is something we wouldn't want to do. We we wouldn't want to have um, um, this <laughs> this this big. It just would not work. You know, it would just take forever and ever and ever. So um, let's go ahead and scale this down, show you how to scale this down properly. Uh, you never want to come into here real flow and, and scale it uh, through here uh, anyways. Uh, it doesn't work. So here we have this little thing down here, some scale options. So if we click it, um, we're going to do geometry scale. So I used to do 0.1, so 10 times as small. And this is approximately about how big it should be. Yeah. Um, you know, this isn't, I know it was like 100 meters or something like that in max, but, you know, think about it. This, is, this will probably work uh, for, for our use here. Um, we don't want it to be too small or too big. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do that real quick. Oh, we did that. Okay. So, and also a shortcut key to uh, uh, see it uh, flat shaded is, uh, let's see here, nine. And zero is smooth shaded. I like to keep this grid uh, on all the time, just for reference. A lot of times, uh, sometimes you can. I think you turn it off here. Show grid or G, yeah. Um, but sometimes it kind of kind of gets lost. So let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, now we scrub this guy. Pop, pop, pop. It's flopping around. And in the next chapter, what we're going to be doing is uh, making this water tank.